Welcome back guys to day 12 of 30 of my fitness journey. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because I've been feeling so sick and I've kind of learned that you really need to listen to your body. I woke up feeling sore throat, congestion. I sound okay right now, but I feel terrible. Super low energy. My body felt achy and I just didn't feel good. So I'm gonna take it super easy today. I'm not working out. I'm gonna just eat a lot of hearty food. So for breakfast, I'm gonna do eggs. I'm gonna do oatmeal. For lunch, I'm doing chicken with a little bit of bone broth and some rice and some veggies, a lot of fruit, a lot of vitamin C. Just really trying to get my, just to beat this sickness before it gets any worse. Since I'm not really doing much in today's video, I thought I would share something that I've never shared with you guys before. I know that some of the comments I've been reading are like, oh, you know, your starting point is my goal weight or just things along that vein. I wanna show you guys that this is actually not my starting point. My fitness journey has been going on for many, many years. <laughs> and I have the proof to show it. I've actually been on this journey probably since, oh wow, I can't, I can't give you a date, I can't think of a date, but back when I still lived in Vancouver, so if you've been following me for a long time, you know I used to live in Canada, I grew up in Vancouver, and I'm going to show you guys some before pictures in just a minute. I've definitely have... <laughs> I don't know how to put it you'll see in a second or even if you watch my old videos actually i should put some up some of my old videos like i've changed a lot and a big part of that is just completely changing my lifestyle big lifestyle change for sure but i guess i want to say maybe in 2010 so almost 10 years ago that was probably when i was at my biggest i was at my biggest for a lot of personal reasons and it's funny how the way you look physically can be affected by so many of the mental, psychological things you're going through in your life. And it really has nothing to do with food or anything like that. It's way deeper than that. That's what it was for me, at least. At that point in my life, I was in a situation that I was very unhappy. I was doing a job that I hated. I was in a relationship that I knew I shouldn't be in. I was living in a city I didn't want to be. I was just going through a lot of personal things and I took it out on my weight, my food. I basically was so unhappy that I turned to food to try to make me happy. Only thing is, I guess it was making me happy because I didn't notice. I think I put on probably about 30 pounds. 30 pounds, I'm 5'3", you guys. 30 pounds is a lot for someone of my frame. I think the heaviest I ended up getting was around 148 pounds. So let's put up some pics so we can show you. I put on so much weight. I was very physically unhealthy. I was eating McDonald's and Burger King and pizza. Like that was my everyday diet. Um, for me, that's very unhealthy because there's no nutrition in that food at all. I was never working out. I was just eating and eating and eating because I was just looking for comfort. I was looking for something to make me feel better. And yeah, I didn't realize that I put on so much weight. Anyways, fast forward a little bit. I end up leaving that relationship. I end up leaving Vancouver, moving to Toronto, and I end up quitting my job and becoming a makeup artist full time. And then everything changed. Once I moved to Toronto, I was feeling so much lighter and so much happier. I was just eating clean. I was walking everywhere. I was, I, I didn't have a car anymore. So I was taking the bus and I was walking to all my jobs and I would walk to the grocery store and I would walk to the mall and I would walk to dinner. So I was walking everywhere and I was just naturally just stopped eating McDonald's. I just stopped eating pizza and Burger King and one day I go put my jeans on and my jeans wouldn't fit. Like they were too big. And I was like, did I lose weight? 
<laughs> and I didn't even realize. I never stepped on a scale, so I never had an idea what my weight was. And I was so unhappy. I wasn't eating for the right reasons. I was eating for the wrong reasons. And that made me choose the wrong things to eat and just lifestyle overall. Your body reacts so much to so many factors not just environment but also lifestyle mental health physical health so many things i've slowly just been trying to improve my lifestyle in general so eating for the right reasons eating for fuel to feel good you know like i gauge it on how comfortable I feel so when I'm sitting in my jeans which are like usually the most uncomfortable thing to wear when I'm sitting in my jeans if I feel comfortable that's all I care about when I don't feel comfortable then I know something is off so that's what I really strive for just to feel comfortable in my own skin and to feel good when I'm you know getting dressed up for an event and to put on a nice dress and to feel good and to just feel healthy to feel healthy that i have energy and that i my skin is like my skin is so much better you guys since i started doing this fitness journey like so much better it's crazy i just wanted to share that story to show you guys that i've actually been on this journey for a long time this is not my starting point my starting point was a lot different and that you know we can all come a very long way we all have different experiences um and no matter where you are and if there's something that you want to change you can do it or if you're happy you're happy <laughs> but um yeah anyways i just wanted to share that i hope you guys enjoyed this new videos new makeup tutorials coming out this weekend so stay tuned for that and um yeah hopefully i can nip this sickness in the bud so i can get back to just feeling a-okay i got my banana here i'm about to eat this if you're new hit the subscribe button my name is iman add me on instagram at iman and i'll see you guys in my next video bye